Hey guys, it's Carrie, and I'm back <laughs> with another unboxing, I suppose. Unboxing and review. Uh, today, I'm going to be reviewing another OMG doll, and I had to get her from Amazon, and I'll tell you why. I've always had a hard time looking for the fourth girl. Well, at least I did with um, the first two series that were out. Uh, well, series number one, and then the special series, the special edition series, the the, uh, the the winter disco. I had a hard time finding the last fourth girl, and uh, I saw it on Amazon for the same price I would have paid for it at the store. So I just went ahead and took the chances and ordered it. She came pretty quickly to me. I love my prime. So I'm going to open her, get her out of here. And here she is. The fourth doll from series two. This is Miss Independent. Okay, so let's just get the plastic off her. And we're just going to start opening her up because um, you guys have seen pretty much everything on the box. And if you've been watching my channel, I've gone into detail with some of these boxes. I mean, all the boxes are not created equal. They all have their own different um, designs. But it uh, looks like we go, we're go. we going with aqua, pink, and black. Are they all aqua, pink, and black? I think so. I think those seem to be all the colors, but they're all a different design. Okay, guys. So now well, let's just... Oops, I don't want to open that part up yet. Let me see here. One-handed me. Okay. Ooh, guys. I am so excited for her. I hope she lives up to the hype in my brain. So this says, um, Miss Independent, brave, free, proud to be me, with confidence and fierceness for all. So there she is. I'm hoping that her, her, um, her shorts are real denim. I'm I'm gonna I'm expecting them to be. Yeah, so that is her little getaway space right there. Okay, inside her hot pink sparkly hat box, we have a something that's wrapped in pink and white stripes, squiggly stripes. I think it's sunglasses. Oh no. Well, yes, it's sunglasses, so they are transparent. They are, uh, oh, they're interesting. They're kind of transparent, and they're half glasses. And like a, hmm, what kind of blue is this? Not dark blue, not medium blue. Somewhere in the somewhere in the middle between dark and medium. Maybe it is medium. So we have gold accessories here. We have a gold necklace. And we have gold star, gold star earrings. Well, half star. I think they're really going to look really pretty on her. And we have our shoe box here, size six and a half as usual. It says white pleather on them. It's a long uh, shoe box, which means they're probably long boots of some sort. Or high top sneakers. Okay. I think we've seen these before. Have we seen these before? Hold on, guys. Yes, we have seen these before. Uh, they are Lady Diva's boots. But they're in a different color plastic. Because Lady Diva had like a... Um, it was like a snakeskin plastic. Or uh, it was like... Uh, yeah, it was like snakeskin design. And this is a pearlescent white. With uh, painted gold chains on them. So... And gold in the back here where the heel is on the... On the, um, on the sole. So, same boots. Different design.
Which, you know, is kind of horrible because, you know, this is only the second line and I feel like they could be able to make more boots, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> we won't dwell on the boots. Let's go and check out our um, our clothing here. So we have a long bag here in uh, two different types of blue squiggly out guys I don't know if this is like three different pieces in one or is this all one piece I don't know I, I'm gonna pull it out of the bag and we're gonna look at it separately okay so you have this one piece right here that's black with a whole bunch of different sparkly it, it's a fabric it's a fab black fabric with a whole bunch of different sparkles in it it's so awesome and then you have a gold sparkly belt line. I think this goes on the waist. I think it's like a belt cape or, I mean, like a waist cape or something. And these are her, um, denim shorts. I don't really know if this is denim material. If it is, it's really, really thin. It's, um, frayed on the top and frayed on the bottom. And I guess it's meant to look like real pockets here, but they're faux pockets. And then that's supposed to be like, they're like cut off shorts. So that is like the, uh, supposed to be the bottom lining of the pocket type thing so they do a good job making it look like that and then there's a little, whole bunch of little rivets on the other side there and then a couple of rips right here so they're definitely a worn pair of jeans that have been cut down to shorts and then our second bag here has red white and blue stars and gold and it looks like this might be a pair of pants hold on guys okay nope it is a shirt, and it's a midriff shirt with long sleeves. Kind of has a, I don't know, like a, a showy feel to me, almost like an acrobat or, or um, a ballet or something. But it's got it's stretchy material, and then I think this might be paint. I'm not sure. I don't know if the sparkles are painted on or not, but it's black with red sparklies on them, and it doesn't come off, so that's good. And then over on this side, it's dark blue, sparkly material. And then it has a V-neck, and then it's Velcro on the back. And our fashion magazine. Hold on here, guys. Oh. Our fashion magazine says the same on the front that all the other ones do. And you open it up. Sorry. You open it up, and it says that she's a Taurus. It says, listen to the beat in your heart and turn up the volume on your dreams. That is a good advice. And we're going to reveal our doll now. So excited, guys. I'm so excited. Here she is. Okay. Oh, no. All right. I'm sorry. My phone... My... My... Video camera died, and I had to move location, and now I'm attached to the wall. <laughs> but I can't wait to open her. So I'm going to pull her out, and I'm going to show you her. I'm going to show you her before I dress her up. Okay, guys. Um, and, of course, she's got a Mara as well in her own design. Peel this up, and you have a nice Mara to, to show your girl off in. Let's see. Our brush is a dark blue, but the same design as all the other ones have been. Let's check out what's in our little boot BB Boutique bag. It's more than likely a... Okay, here we go. Yes, it is a purse. Oh my goodness. And it's embedded with sparkles, not, not glued with sparkles, which I really like. So it looks to be transparent with a bunch of blue sparkles embedded inside of it. So it's got a really cool effect, really flashy. And then you have uh, a painted on textured chain that would be to hold make it, and then make it like a coin purse. And then we have the snap that's also in gold and then a mock uh, shoulder strap that's in uh, gold chain as well. That's a cool purse. Okay, and then our stand is gold. I think we've seen gold stand before. Um, okay. Our girl. Here's our girl. Here's Miss Independent herself. 
She's absolutely awesome, guys. Okay. Ha, ah, where do I start? Okay, we'll start with the hair. So the hair is done up in an, a, a, in a high ponytail, Madonna style. Not even Madonna style. And then um, inside of her hair, her ponytail, she has a bunch of little itty bitty braids. Just a handful of them, if you guys can see that. And the braids themselves are laced with glitter, sparkle, um, glitter? Well, you know, the nylon hair that makes it, that looks like glitter. So that, that's laced in there. Uh, and, and then also she has a side front bun that also has those, um, little tiny braids mixed in with it. And those have a little bit of glitter as well, giving it more of a darker blue look than the rest of her hair. But it's the same color, I believe. That might not even be. Might be a different color. But um, either way, the effect of it looks so awesome, guys. Okay, so moving down, uh, we have eyebrows that are dark blue that match her hair. She has a light blue glittery eyeshadow, and she has baby brown eyes. And her lipstick is a pink with glitter on it as well. Her outfit reminds me of, like, a Miss USA pageant type thing, or, like, a... Um, or, like, the Olympics-type outfit. It looks very showy. It's, uh, what are those bikinis called that aren't quite bikinis? It's definitely a bathing suit. Anyway. So you have the white stripes, the blue stripes, and the pink stripes. And then on the chest part, we have, um, a couple of different types of material that, um, are gold. And then we have, on the bottom, it's solid blue with gold stars printed all over it in a, in a metallic way so it sparkles. She's very pretty. And then her nail polish is white. She has white nail polish which goes good with her look. Again, articulation. Her head moves back and forth and up and down. She has shoulder joints, elbow joints, and wrist joints. And her hands are a little bit more pliable and they are removable. Because Lord knows these outfits sometimes don't get on with those hands. And then uh, she has hip joints. So you can make her sit or stand up. And they do... Uh, she's a little bit loose in the waist. Like I've been noticing a repetitive pattern in this series. And then uh, her legs do click click bend. So you can pose them that way. So yeah, she's loose in the waist. Pretty, pretty good. But I think once we get her on our stand she'll be okay. Okay, guys, so here she is, all put together. What do you guys think? I think she's absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with her. I, it was love at first sight for this girl, though, with me. And I knew she was going to be the hardest one to find, and I think she still is. As of two days ago, she was available on Amazon. So I would grab her while, you, while she's still there if you guys are interested in her. Um, the only thing, the only quorum I have about this doll is that her joints are a little bit loose for my likings. But since I don't play with my dolls, I only collect them. She'll be probably remaining on her stand for her whole life until, you know, until Blaze crashes her down on the floor if I put her somewhere. But regardless. So when you put her on her stand, uh, she's absolutely fine. You can she, Her posability is still fine. Uh, it's just the waistline right here. And her neck is a little bit loose. But her neck, her neck and waistline, well... Her neck is not loose enough where her head's flopping over, which is good. Because then I would have a really bad issue with her. But either way, like, her outfit was the easiest outfit to put on. The boots, yeah, we've, we've seen that design before, but at least they recolored them. So I'll give them that. Um, other than that, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And while I still have comments below, uh, go ahead, comment down below. How do you feel about uh, her or any of the girls from series two which we still have three more to come uh they're they're reissuing uh as far as i've heard anyway they're reissuing the three girls that came out uh in 2019 with the bigger expensive sets as just single dolls so i'm holding my breath for it but everywhere i mean there somebody has done a review for one of them so i think it's a real thing 
So uh, if that happens and I get my hands on them, you guys will see me review them here on this channel. Um, other than that, uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.